June 19th, 2020. Solemnity of the Most Sacred Heart of Jesus. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, You are a people sacred to the Lord your God. He has chosen you from all the nations on the face of the earth to be a people peculiarly his own. It was not because you are the largest of all nations that the Lord set his heart on you and chose you, for you are really the smallest of all nations. It was because the Lord loved you, and because of his fidelity to the oath he had sworn your fathers, that he brought you out with his strong hand from the place of slavery, and ransomed you from the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. Understand then that the Lord your God is God indeed, the faithful God who keeps his merciful covenant down to the thousandth generation toward those who love him and keep his commandments, but who repays with destruction a person who hates him. He does not dally with such a one, but makes them personally pay for it. You shall therefore carefully observe the commandments, the statutes, and the decrees that I enjoin on you today. The Word of the Lord. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, let us love one another, because love is of God. Everyone who loves is begotten by God and knows God. Whoever is without love does not know God, for God is love. In this way, the love of God was revealed to us. God sent His only Son into the world so that we might have life through Him. In this is love, 
not that we have loved God, but that he loved us and sent his Son as expiation for our sins. Beloved, if God so loved us, we also must love one another. No one has ever seen God, yet if we love one another, God remains in us, and his love is brought to perfection in us. This is how we know that we remain in him and he in us, that he has given us of his Spirit. Moreover, we have seen and testify that the Father sent his Son as Savior of the world. Whoever acknowledges that Jesus is the Son of God, God remains in him and he in God. We have come to know and to believe in the love God has for us. God is love, and whoever remains in love remains in God, and God in him. The Word of the Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. At that time Jesus exclaimed, I give praise to you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to little ones. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourselves. For my yoke is easy and my burden light. The Gospel of the Lord. This is Catholic Daily Reflections for the Solemnity of the Most Sacred Heart of Jesus. Today's reflection is entitled, The Heart of Perfect Love and Self-Giving. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourselves. Happy Solemnity of the Most Sacred Heart of Jesus. To some, this can seem like an old and outdated celebration in the church. It can be seen as one of those ancient feasts that have little meaning in our lives today. Nothing could be further from the truth. The Sacred Heart of Jesus is exactly what we need to know, experience, and receive in our lives today. His heart, that heart which was pierced by the lance from which flowed blood and water, is the sign, symbol, and source of the burning love of his very soul. The blood is an image of the Most Holy Eucharist, and the water is an image of the cleansing waters of baptism. This celebration of the Sacred Heart of Jesus is a celebration of Jesus pouring out on us his whole life and all of his love. He held nothing back, which is symbolized by the pouring forth of the last drop of this blood and water from his heart as he lay there dead on the cross. Though it's a very graphic image, it's graphic to make a point. The point, again, is that he held nothing back. 
we need to realize that Jesus continues to give us everything if we are willing to receive it. If you are finding that you need to know his love more deeply in your life this day, try spending time reflecting on this scripture. But one soldier thrust his lance into his side, and immediately blood and water flowed out. Spend time reflecting upon that last self-gift, the gift of that water and blood flowing from his wounded heart. It is a sign of his infinite love for you. Reflect upon it being poured out especially for you. See it, be immersed in it, and be open to it. Let his love transform and fill you. Let us pray. Sacred Heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. I thank you, dear Lord, for giving all to me. You held nothing back from me, and you continue to pour out your life for my good and for the good of the whole world. May I receive all you give to me and hold nothing back from you. Jesus, I trust in you.